What's going on everybody? It's your boy the low-key legend. How the fuck y'all doing today? I'm doing all right We are back today with a brand new life story for you guys as I said in my last one Which I uploaded a week ago man And I am apologizing right now for that because really no excuse for me not uploading other than the fact that I'm still trying to learn my basic computer layout and everything a lot of a lot of dumb shit going on right now guys But I will be back to normal very 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 soon. I promise you that anyways this story takes place uh, about a week ago man And we're gonna be talking about the first time I I went kayaking. Uh, I'm not, I'm sorry. This is not kayaking. Canoeing. Okay. So there's two different things. Kayaking is usually a one to two person, um, longer boat where you sit in a seat and the person behind you sits also in a seat and you guys both have a paddle and you guys, you know, just paddle on a canoe. I've also done that before. Usually they're one seaters. Kayaks are usually one seaters. Canoes. This is the story I'm going to tell you guys about in case you don't know the difference between a kayak and a canoe, because honest to God, I didn't. And to this day, I still, I mean, I do now, but like, a month ago, I didn't. So difference. That's the difference between a canoe is one of those long boats that you drive on Red Dead Redemption 2. I don't know if you guys play that game, but it's like you could sit multiple people in there. You can fit probably four people if you really wanted to, but it's not recommended because if one person does something stupid, stands up the wrong way, the boat leans, somebody else panics, leans the boat the wrong way, that whole canoe is very, very easy to tip, guys. So in this story, man, if you guys do enjoy, be sure to hit that thumbs up button, bro. Let's go for, uh, I don't know, 50 likes for a story. I don't even have a like goal, but uh, it's been a while since I uploaded guys and I'm trying to get back into the group of things So anyways, man glad to be behind the mic again. Let's jump on on board with this story first time I went canoeing all right So my buddy hits me up and we actually had a plan to go and pick this canoe up for a while for the past six months I would say we brought up the idea. Yo, man, we should get a, a canoe dude You know how fun it would be to just canoe down river We got a lot of rivers around us and fishing is another big thing I wanted to fish a lot and he wanted to just canoe and you know explore shit so so we figured I was down to go half on a canoe with him um, But then I talked about it with my dad and we don't have any real transportation for a canoe We don't have any big trucks. We do we have a flatbed truck But I don't think that that's something like I even feel comfortable setting up by myself Even with my friend bringing along it's my dad's truck, you know and on my car I just don't want anything like any paint to get chipped on my car because it's not like he said he has all the proper uh setup for attaching this canoe onto his car or onto my car he wanted to use my car in particular because his car was just kind of smaller than mine i guess but i ended up talking it through with my dad and we both agreed that it wasn't in the best idea so we ended it at that he said he'll go on his own time after work or on the job on the clock at work because they get these work vans so when he goes to job he'll get his work van and then he went back picked up the canoe and dropped it off at a discreet location at a river okay now what he does he dropped it off and left it there with the paddles with everything but when he did drop it off he made sure to stash it in a very discreet location uh, uh, in the forest where someone's not gonna ever come across that and if they do he also took the paddles brought them back to his house with him just in case so he's got one canoe there and that was it man he went back home called me up and I did not want to be the first one on the canoe uh, I don't even know if he, I was the first person he called up he might have called someone else and then his other buddy came through and he had some money on him and right down the street from where my one buddy dropped his canoe off his other buddy who came through also wanted to buy a canoe so or uh yeah canoe so uh, about five minutes away from where my buddy dropped his canoe off they looked on craigslist and somebody else was selling a canoe for 80 dollars. but the only thing that was wrong with it is it had a a tear and it was a big tear like on the side of it but they bondoed it in but it came undone so it's like water can still get in but it's slowly and it's only if you lean on one side for too long then water starts to slowly get in so you gotta you kind of gotta drive the ca the canoe a little differently and uh, my first time going the, uh, this is about a week after they have both the canoes so what my what both of them did after my friend went went and bought his canoe uh, his other friend came through bought his canoe now they went on their canoe did their thing came back they stashed it in another bush okay now this is the same bush where I went to my first time canoeing so I end up going there with him one day and this is my first time canoeing I've been blowing him off for a, a, a couple days now and I kind of wanted to experience canoeing it was a nice day I was feeling good and I'm like you know what bro I'm down for it so he came through picked me up and we went and we actually were going to ch uh, hang out at our other friend uh, 
uh, Marcel's house. So what happened was we pull up to his house. And he ends up wanting to come with us. So I offered to give him a ride. So he gets in and my other, my other buddy is on him is, is on his motorcycle. So it's kind of really like, I have to pick him up. Like there's no, he doesn't even have a back seat on his motorcycle. The kid's a savage. Okay. So anyways, man, I pick him up and we're following him to the spot that we need to go to, to access or to get to the canoes because it's about a 25 minute drive away from our houses. But that is literally, they have it on the entrance of the river. So we pull up 25 minutes later, actually went our own ways. We had to wait for my one friend who had had all the canoes to get back. So he went to, uh, he went home to go eat and I went to go pick up Marcel. I picked up Marcel and we drive there. We get back to the spot that he sent us. We're just parked up in front of this person's house, kind of a little bit down the street, pretty dead. Um, and then about 10 minutes later, he pulls up on his motorcycle. We get out, bring the paddles with us. We're walking for about five, 10 minutes down these weird little trails in this swampy looking area. It was weird, but, uh, about five minutes worth of walking. We finally come across where the canoes are. Well, actually we, the first thing we see is the lake. So we're like, okay. And it's underneath a bridge. So where we load, where we load these, uh, canoes at are literally underneath a, you know, an eight way bridge, four lanes on each side, a bridge of full of cars is right underneath us as we're loading these, uh, canoes up. So just before we walk down this little hill to get to the bottom of the bridge up the hill is where they stash the canoes at. So I go up the hill or we're all up the hill. Obviously before we get there, we're following him to get the canoes. We grit, we grab uh, both of them. Both of them are still there. Everything's cool. I start dragging them. I realized like as soon as I dragged this bitch, I'm like, okay, this is not like, this is actually pretty heavy, bro. So Marcel and me grab our canoe because Kevin's going to do his own thing. And Kevin is uh, the one with the motorcycle. I'm just going to say names. I don't give a fuck. We grab our canoe. Kevin grabs his canoe and we proceed to go walk down this bridge all the way at the end of the bridge. We finally get there. Um, and there's a, a super steep hill down this, like, as soon as we're done walking, you got to go down this steep hill and then all the way at the end of the steep hill, there's like a, a little patch of, uh, dirt. And from there, that's where you board the canoe. So what he did, or yeah, the, yeah, the canoe. So what he did is he just threw his canoe, let it slide down all these rocks and just hit the bottom. We're like, okay, damn. All right. Is that what we're doing? Let's do it. Marcel, this is mine and Marcel's first time canoeing as well. And we both have our own canoe. So we slide it down the hill and all of a sudden the way we slid it slid so perfectly. It slid over all the rocks and didn't stop on the patch of dirt that it was supposed to. It kept sliding and slid into the river guys. It slid, it just coasted into the river. And we're like, Oh my God, that's not good. And we're sitting on top of this hill. We're like, Holy shit. That's not okay. Kevin's over there. What the fuck, man? I'm tw I'm, you know, we're all tweaking out, but uh, it, it luckily it bounced off this little wall. That's not too far away from uh the bridge it's like one of those bridge len ledges underneath the bridge that kind of structures it it bounced off of that and started to come slowly back to us so uh and kevin was already down there me and marcel had to struggle and get down this entire hill uh this was a steep hill guys is what i'm saying like it was so steep it was ridiculous anyways finally ended up making it down uh marcel's struggling up there he's got beers on him he's got uh you know uh, my tackle box my fishing poles i'm, I'm down there I'm, i look at him like oh shit bro i ran up there i'm give, give me some of that shit bro so i grabbed some of the shit we both make it down kevin's got our canoe hooked up and everything and um yeah it's boarding time guys so what pretty much boarding time is one person gets in they push it out about halfway and then the other person has to uh like push and jump in at the same time or not even jump in but kind of just walk in slowly because you cannot jump on canoes guys these things are very you need a lot of balance on a canoe that's all i gotta say man like if one person gets up and stands up moves the wrong way that whole canoe is tipping guys and that's literally how canoes work you have to be very um mentally prepared when you're going on here because especially when you get out into them deeper waters guys so we end up boarding everything's fine um and i look to the side and i'm like yo why the fuck do we have water in our canoe he's like yeah oh yeah bro there's a little cut on the side of that canoe there you see i'm looking at this cut literally it's got to be like fucking three feet long of just a straight crack in our canoe now luckily it's a little bit higher up from our canoe so it's not like you know we're gonna sink immediately it's if we lean a little bit that hole's gonna bring in a lot of water so we kind of had to be careful right off the bat of yo there's a hole we can't lean in this direction at all it's, i'm gonna kind of lean over here make sure it, it's you know that that part of the canoe is a lot higher than the rest and we should be good so we end up paddling and shit and it was a long day man it was about so what we wanted to do was we're following kevin me and marcel uh i end up he he paddles us out there maybe about you know 
and I'd say an eighth of the way. Um, and then I, I switch over because we were kind of, you know, he was paddling backwards and I, and I was in front and I'm like, yo, just give him to me. I'll paddle. So I started paddling forward and we started, um, you know, just going down this river pretty much guys. I had my poles on me and everything literally took us about, I would say an hour and a half to get to this one spot. So it was two and a half miles we had to canoe down river to get to this spot. And I thought this, Kevin said it was a spot, he called them the islands, okay? When you hear a spot called the islands, that sounds like some shit, dude. Like, okay, that sounds fucking lit, dude, let's go. So we start paddling and two and a half miles later, we finally are pulling up to there. I'm fucking sweating, bro. I'm hot as hell, my arms are sore. Like, kayaking is not an easy thing to do, man. Like, you have to be, like... I mean, it's easy, don't get me wrong, but it's it's physical. It's it's really physical. That's it's all... That's really is. But it's it's not that physical. I don't know. I just wanted to move fast. If you want to move fast in a kayak, that's when you got to be super physical. Or just know what you're doing. And this is my first time, so I'm not going fast at all. Anyways, we pull up to these islands. These islands that he were talking about are three fat pillars in the ground. They're pretty much, like, for people who may get, like, trapped or... Or, you know need help like it the rescue platforms where it's like you climb up a ladder and you just sit on top of this thing and it's like I don't know I don't I don't know why they were there that's the only ro logical explanation I'd come up with is that they're there simply for rescue purposes somebody needs to get rescued they sit up there wave their hands and a boat will come pick them up anyways that's what that's where he wanted to chill so we go up there tie the canoes up to the um, up to the ladder or down you know by the ladder where you first get on tied them both up and tied them to the ladder so we all get up there cr start cracking open beers man start drinking having a good time spark up a blunt we're smoking we're chiefing we're chilling i light up my pole take, take a couple casts out there the water was absolutely beautiful though guys where we were actually down the whole river this whole river is really almost crystal clear until you get to the middle of the water like the outskirts of the water to where you can see like probably up to your thigh down was all no probably like your legs down like your hips down you could see was all clear so you could see big ass fish just kind of cruising at the shoreline it was dope so i was you know trying to mess with them trying to catch them they weren't biting on my worms we ended up chilling there for about an hour and a half maybe two hours again uh, a couple boats drove by you know we were chilling with them Cool stuff, man, and uh, sparked up. Or we got about to we rolled up another blunt and uh, decided to head out. We we're gonna smoke the last blunt on the way back home. So that's what we ended up doing. We got on the canoe, sparked up a blunt, um, and yeah. So I mean, we we start paddling back. My buddy's got the blunt. Damn, he's just smoking it to himself. He's kind of like parted off from us we're trying to catch up but he already knows that he's faster than us so he's kind of just fucking with us bro you want the blunt catch up guys and he'll just paddle up a little quicker and then i'm sitting there struggling like how the fuck are you going so fast bro what am i doing wrong but i mean that's practice with canoeing i guess i don't know anyways we ended up getting to him i snatched that shit from him and we, <laughs> you know we smoked we all smoked anyway so it was cool um but we ended up paddling back, and I don't think anything too interesting happened when I paddled back. I was kind of tired. I didn't paddle. Marcel actually paddled the way back, so I was kind of just chilling, taking a nap, played a couple games of Clash Royale. Uh, it was another, like I said, about an hour and a half canoe ride back. So it was pretty fucked, but um, it's whatever, man. It was a fun time. Uh, getting the canoes out of there was a bitch, man. It was a real bitch because that steep hill, we had to drop our canoes down we had to bring back up and that was a struggle because that's a steep fucking hill dude and we have a heavy ass canoe so moral of the story is man i'm sitting there up front marcel's got all our shit like uh he took it out the canoe i'm grabbing onto rocks holding on to with my with one hand to this canoe and i'm pulling myself up and then I'm pulling the canoe up immediately after. Like, it, I was struggling pulling this canoe up, guys. No, no lie. For, like, three minutes. Three solid minutes. I was sitting from the bottom trying to pull this canoe up, bro. I finally made it to the bottom. Or, uh, to the top. And I was almost there, man. And, and I see my buddy Kevin. I'm like, Kevin, help me, bro. I put my hand out. And I look up a little bit more. And this motherfucker is recording me. And laughing. I'm like, oh my god, you motherfucker. You're gonna sit there and record me struggle. Rather than fucking help me out. I started laughing. You're a fucking asshole, bro. So I turned around. I seen what he was doing. So I just yanked this motherfucker so hard, bro. Like, that, because that pissed me off that he wasn't even gonna help me. So I pulled it so hard, bro. And I finally, I think that that's what really made me, like, you know, 
want to get that thing out of there because I was on film and I was I wasn't about to fuck up now I'm like alright fuck this then Urgh. yank that whole bitch out I was like I don't even need your help then motherfucker I didn't say that but I mean I didn't I did, he didn't help me at all I did that shit by myself so and then uh, Marcel was at the bottom and he just kind of walked up I, he handed me some poles and shit uh, that was a crazy crazy first time kayaking though guy or canoeing I don't know why if I ever said kayak in this video I meant canoe still don't know the difference sometimes man my brain's a little off nowadays but y'all already know what's going on boys you boy the low-key legend man hope you guys did enjoy this story dude if you guys did in, uh, enjoy hit the thumbs up button moral of the story is uh that's my first time canoeing um nothing really else to say I just wanted to share this little experience with you guys if you guys are thinking about going canoeing definitely do it do it with someone uh responsible and who's gonna be safe and not a dumbass and you know try to tip your canoe and you know do stupid shit luckily our, t our canoe never tipped nothing bad happened but i was scared as soon as we we were like as soon as we got on the water and started paddling out there i was getting scared guys i'm not gonna lie it's my first time canoeing i've been kayaking but canoeing's different it, it's like more wobbly i don't feel as safe in a canoe as i do at a kayak i don't know that's my story guys if you guys have, have have a similar one drop them in the comment section below hopefully i won't hear too many scary stories of you know tips and anything i don't want to hear nothing like that because that's not i mean i do want to hear it don't get me wrong but Hopefully everyone's all right out there. Obviously, if they're going to comment, they're probably going to be all right. But anyways, man, I love each and every one of you guys. I'm super, super sorry about not uploading as much as I said I was going to. I knew in my last video, I said, I will never go another week without uploading with you guys again. And wait, what's it been now? Almost two weeks, Dan. What the fuck you doing? What the fuck you doing, Dan? Come on, get it together, buddy. I'm trying, guys. I'm trying. Don't worry. I I'm still here. I'll always be here for you guys. If you guys going to follow me on Mixer, dude, I'm going to be doing Mixer live streams. So be sure to follow me on there. I'm not a Twitch uh, streamer no more. I'm out. I'm a Mixer streamer. And that that's not because of Ninja, but I feel like what ninja's doing there's gonna be a whole nother wave and especially like now that ninja called out twitch and that everyone's disagreeing with twitch i'm going to mixer because i know mixer is going to be more dominant i don't know if you guys know this but microsoft runs mixer so just off of that they have money to blow yo you need a hundred million dollars ninja to come here and advertise our mixer guess what we'll give you a hundred million dollars and we'll give you 15 percent of mixer's revenue in general boom that's it that would sell me like it's Mixer is the new wave, guys. Please follow me on there. I'll be live streaming as much as I possibly can on there. Um, and I'm there. I'll be smoking with you guys, dude. I'll be I'll be smoking. I'll be chiefing because it's 18 and up. You can set it to where you want your live streams to be 18 and up only, baby. And that's what I'm doing. We're going to be smoking. We're chilling, drinking, all this crazy shit, guys. Be sure to follow me on Mixer. I'm going to have it the first link in the description guys so with all that out the way man thank you guys for watching uh, another story i'm gonna be dropping a video really 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 soon guys i promise you i'll probably make one right after i'm done with this one so anyways man y'all stay safe stay savage stay low-key it's been your boy the low-key legend i love you guys i'm gonna see you in my next video in the future peace out everybody <laughs>